All right, so this is the property at 5826 Berkeley Springs. Uh, I am gonna be doing the make ready and scope of work video. So as I walk through the property, um, I will point out various items. <clears throat> uh, obviously there's gonna be trash inside and out that's gonna need to be hauled off. So instead of saying that uh, several times, I'll point it out now. <clears throat> Walking into the front door of the property. Just a second, I ran into something here. Okay. Uh, we did have the lock installed, uh, the electronic deadbolt. I'm gonna start by going into the kitchen area, um, as well as a converted garage. Um, so your kitchen cabinets, the top cabinets, are in uh, pretty good condition. They're not too old. Um, those can be kept, they look pretty good for the most part. Um, the bottom cabinets, let's see, the bases look good, the doors look pretty good. Um, a lot of them are open, but they do function. Okay, there's your bottom cabinets, your countertops are decent. Uh, you've got your 220 plug there for your stove. Some more cabinets and countertops, all right. Uh, let's move over here to the sink area. Again, these cabinets look pretty good. The base looks good. I don't see any signs of leaks other than that stuff needing to be cleaned up down there. Your sink is decent. Faucet could potentially be replaced, but uh, it looks okay, I guess. Fair condition. Um, this is your washer and dryer closet or your utility closet. My recommendation is because of the area that it sits in, it's right in the kitchen, um, if you do rehab this house, I would probably put doors on it to make it look a little nicer. Um, you do have some water damage here, which suggests there could be leaks there with the hookup. But you've also got a 220 plug there for a dryer. Um, so that's good. Just need to clean up this closet real good, replace some of the sheetrock, and address the leak that's, uh, that's there. <clears throat> uh, hot water heater closet. Um, I don't have utilities on to test the hot water heater. It sounds like the water is on because I've got water running in one of the bathrooms that I can hear. Um, it may be a toilet. I'll try to turn that off before I leave. But um, there's no electricity to run that hot water heater for me to check if it works. <clears throat> um, the breaker uh, box shows that all the breakers are turned on position but we don't have power running to the house, meaning that utilities are not on or electricity is not on. The AC, um, I don't know a whole lot about ACs, but it does look like it may have been tampered with, so we'd wanna get a service call to, to check on that. <clears throat> this is what used to be the garage, from what I can tell. Um, there's some evidence of roof leaks here. So that's something that you're gonna to need to get checked out is uh, potentially a, a, a quote for roof repairs or replacement, whichever. Um, the tile looks pretty good in here. It looks pretty good in the kitchen and, and we'll uh, kind of keep an eye on that as we go throughout the house. Okay, here's the living room. Okay, again there in that corner right there above the um, fireplace is evidence of another roof leak. So we're probably looking at a uh, replacement or some pretty pricey repairs, uh, to be honest there. This is the living room. Again, the tile, um, it looks pretty good. It needs to be cleaned, but the tile is in pretty good condition as far as I can see here as well. Um, this is what was a sliding glass door. Um, that is gonna need to be replaced. It's missing the, the door here. It's broken and it's just glass on one side. Okay, so we went, came in through the front door. There's the kitchen where we came from. That's the living room, so we kind of made a circle there. This is a hallway closet. It's got a shelf, it's got a rod. Just need to get it cleaned out. <clears throat> it's your AC thermostat. This is um, bathroom number one. Uh, the vanity's pretty outdated. You see the countertops there, the sink, faucet, um, the doors. It can be left if you want to save money, save on costs, but it is outdated, I will say that. You've got your mirror, you've got an outdated light fixture there. 
The floors are pretty good in here too. They're pretty strong. Um, that toilet is running, so I will I will uh, shut the valve off before I leave. This is the bathtub. Obviously, we've got some issues going on there. Uh, the walls should probably be resurfaced. The tub obviously needs to be resurfaced, so we need to get that taken care of. The toilet, it looks like it's in good position, uh, condition, sorry, but it is running, um, which means that the flushing mechanism on the inside may need to be replaced. It's a pretty cheap fix. Um, flooring is good up until about right here, and then we've got several different types of flooring. These two rows match. And this room matches, but this room is different. So let's start in room number one. It's one of the smaller rooms. Um, you're going to need to replace some doors here. They're not in great condition. The closet doors are in pretty good condition. The walls throughout the house, I am going to suggest a full interior paint, as well as updating and cleaning some of the light fixtures and ceiling fans throughout. That's bedroom number one. You got an outdated light fixture there. Okay, this is bedroom number two. Okay, we've got a different type of flooring here. So my recommendation is if you renovate to match the flooring with all the other bedrooms. Um, these doors are in good condition. We've got shelves and rods in this closet as well. So that's good. Okay. But I just need to replace the flooring here. That probably needs to be updated. It's missing some pieces. And um, again, we've got a outdated door with with gold handles here gold's not really popular anymore here so if you renovate i would suggest updating that let's go to bedroom number three okay we've got a newer version of flooring here i'm not sure why that sinks in here it's not hooked up to anything but it's here um the flooring in here is pretty good it does match the other rooms i would suggest putting a transition piece here um, it just looks a little bit better. That ceiling is broken, so I'm not sure what's going on up there with that fan, but that may need some attention there. And then um, we've got window. It looks like they're, they're not broken yet. Okay. All right, then we're going to go to the master bedroom. This door does not, uh, this door frame is missing a door completely, so you'll need a door here. Again, transition piece always looks better here. Again, full interior paint throughout the whole house. That door frame is going to need some repairing as well. Okay. Also, the plug and switch covers throughout the house. One of the things I do is update these throughout because it just gives it a fresher look. Um, that's an outdated ceiling fan. We got some peeling texture around the baseboards. The flooring in here looks pretty good for the most part. Got some switching paint colors, but again, updating those will make it look a little bit fresher. This is the closet in the master bedroom. Okay, another outdated light fixture there. Um, it does smell like mildew in here, and we do have some mold and, and water damage at the base of the closet, so we need to get that looked into. Flooring in here is not in the greatest of condition. Um, it's outdated, it's dirty, it's um, just not great. It's got cracks in it in some areas. I'm not sure why my phone is so blurry, sorry about that. Okay. This is the uh, bathroom in the master. Um, that's the toilet, it's in decent condition, but it obviously needs some cleaning. We've got sheetrock that doesn't have texture or paint on it. That's the shower. Okay. Got your handles there that could possibly be updated. You've got some texture missing from the ceiling. And I'm not sure where that moisture is coming from in the closet, but I'm seeing a crack down there in the corner, so you could be losing water from your shower, um, which could be causing damage. That cabinet looks like it's in pretty good condition. Maybe you just need some paint. And then this particular vanity, the base of it is rotted out, if you can see down there, um, which indicates that there's been lots of leaks from here, so we want to get that looked at. Those are the lights up there. <clears throat> this closet and closet doors. Got some cracks in the ceiling. 
Okay. And this is 5826 Berkeley Springs.